Well, did you know that it takes 100 muscles just to say the word hello? That was exhausting. Or that it takes 120 million photoreceptors just for our eyes to see? Well, the human body really is an incredible machine. And with a little help from an unlikely, unlikely rock star, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, the National Geographic Channel is about to show us just how amazing it is. Aerosmith's Steven Tyler, whose raspy voice was all but ruined by years of singing and, he says, heroin use, uh, awoke one day to learn his vocal cords were bleeding. Enter Harvard Med School's Dr. Steven Zytels, who operated on Tyler and then monitored his vocal cords as he performed live in front of thousands to try to figure out how this all works and show us. We've got the tape and the doctor. Dr. Zytels, thanks so much for being here. He's the director of voice rehabilitation at Harvard Med School. So this is fascinating. Steven Tyler comes to you saying, my vocal cords are bleeding. That's not good. You perform this operation to try to get them back into shape. And then what did you do at this rock concert? Well, we basically were documenting whether we were have really had stable vocal cords. We actually endoscoped them. We also wired them up with some new scientific equipment, uh, which we could determine the number of even collisions that uh, that he had, and that actually was quite remarkable. So we had real-time measures, uh, which the National Geographic helped us put in play and, and document. It was 780,000 collisions in one concert. Is this him? Back, backstage while That's he's giving correct. the concert? That's correct. What we want, well, we wanted to do, and, and this was a advancement over a pilot uh, sort of initial study that Stephen and I did in Colorado a number of years ago. We're really trying to understand what happens in the midst of a high performance concert. So how does that help you? So you say that the, the vocal cords flap together over half a million times. Uh, why do we care? Well, because people's vocal cords wear out. We have an aging society in which the pharmaceutical companies are doing a great job at keeping people alive longer, and yet their vocal cords are simply getting traumatized. Uh, and we're developing strategies at the Mass General, MIT, and Harvard to really reconstitute tissues. When you use a high-performance singer, it's like an athlete so that you can understand even what normal voice use is. And uh, after he had this surgery, this is kind of gross to look at, but also kind of cool. I'm sure it's old hat for you. Uh, but after, after you did the surgery and you, you did this whole thing for National Geographic, how is he? Is, are his vocal cords back to normal now? Yeah. I mean, you know, you have to understand, Stephen is an amazing performer. The changes that naturally occurred from years and decades of singing and put in perspective, there's probably no one who's sung as many large-scale rock shows with the frequency. Uh, those yeah. changes have occurred and he uses those as a performance strategy. Yeah. So he can do things today he couldn't do 20 years ago and vice versa. And uh, I, sh I also should mention since we said in the intro that he now is, says that he is drug free. Uh, anyway, i got to leave it that because we're out of sure. time. But Dr. Zytels, thanks so much for being here. And there's the program, Incredible Human Machine, Sunday, October 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Very cool stuff.